Legacy is a public service announcement brought to you by your friends at D-Generation e X. Degeneration Hanks here, and uh, welcome to the first of a, a little bit of a mini series of uh, of uh, rants involving uh, lame holidays of the week. It seems like um, one after another, we're going to be bombarded by these stupid holidays that are pretty much pushed into us. And I'm speaking of um, the one starting that started yesterday, and it's going to end on Friday, not Easter. Because that's a very serious uh, religious-based holiday. And I'm not really going to go after this 420 thing because I really don't know much about it. All I know is it's involving marijuana and all that kind of stuff. So I, I, until I get know some more facts, I'm not going to really say anything about that. What I'm going to go after is these holidays that um, have been forced down our throats for the past 20 years. And even, even longer with this first one. And, and they, they include Earth Day. Uh, <laughs> Administrative Professionals Day, aka Secretary's Day, um, Take Your Daughter and Son to Work Day, and Arbor Day. Now I'm going to kind of combine uh, yesterday's holiday with Friday's holiday, and I'm going to start off with Earth Day and Arbor Day. Now I'm going to say, uh, of course, Earth Day is a total piece of shit. Uh, basically, all it is is um, uh, environmentalist wackos and their celebrity supporters and their mil and their um, government supporters trying to make you think that we, the human race, are the ones that are fucking up the environment and trying to get us to um, go for more expensive and useless piles of crap. Like, of course, their hybrid cars and <laughs> their electric cars. And, and such other happy hippie bullshit. <laughs> now, um, here, here it is. Here is the this is the 44th anniversary of them starting. Basically, all it was Earth Day was started by a bunch of hippies, and um, and all it is is a combination of anti-human and communistic beliefs. And I, it basically is communistic because you know. Um, you never see them going up against uh, places like Russia, especially the Soviet Union. You don't see them going up against uh, Arab nations with their oil drilling. You don't go. You know, it's mostly all their attention is, uh, and they don't even go after third world nations. They all they always go through the industrial first world nations, like you know, mostly the United States and Eastern, you know, excuse me, Western Europe and stuff. The West. For what they think is the cause of the, even though um, it's been proven, the former Soviet Union, of course, did far more environmental damage to the to their uh, country than the United States would ever was blamed for. Um, and the only reason that they uh, got away with it is because they they covered it up so long. Um, you know, we can't we can't go through by a day without some sort of environmental hoax or otherwise uh, alert coming from some uh, something somewhere in the United States all the time. And um, especially it's gone, you know, it's been gone stupid for you know 20 years at least. But I mean, this remember you get this holiday started in 1974. Obviously, of course, I never heard of Earth Day until the early 90s. When this resurgence of the hippie movement and everything started, and um, you know, it's just, and of course, you got celebrities like back back then. They had like, remember Ted Danson? You know, you know, we, you know Ted Danson. This was way before he got his gig on uh, on CSI. He used to be on a show called uh, Cheers. And by around this early '90s, his Cheers was kind of falling by the wayside. It was coming. Um, Stupid, and he was kind of being, you know, not liked much. So, what do him and other celebrities who are becoming hasmans in their careers do? They usually um, jump on a um, activist bandwagon, just to try to get people to still notice them. And he basically said that um, 
we had to do all we can do to stop what we're doing and and so that our environment wouldn't mess up in in what is it you know 10 years and this was you know around 1990 1991 and of course what happened 10 years nothing <laughs> um of course, yeah, I mean, obviously there's some changes, you know, um, forced down our throats mostly, and now we got this big thing going with uh, being green. Now, of course, back to Ted Danson, um, he, of course, nowadays stars in a hit TV series. You, do you see him going around plugging the environmental clauses? No. No, because, you know, he's got some successful now. You know, not a lot of majorly successful people, um, you know, you know, jump on this bandwagon unless they are trying to – they had to prove that they are caring people, that they're not, you know – it's basically just good PR um, to be environmentally uh, – uh, aware and green and everything um, even though you know basically just you know companies doing this are just doing it because so, they get more business it's it's business smart to be green in the sense of uh, having this good PR on you so people will come, come and, and buy your your products or when it comes to celebrities go see their movies or uh, buy their albums or um, you know, just make them popular. Um, it doesn't make any difference if they actually believe in it. And half the time, they're usually proven not to because they'll be driving around in their fossil fuel uh, fossil fuel cars and running their, you know, so-called air conditioners that, invi- that screw up the environment. And isn't it always odd that when one a scare kind of blows away, that they'll think up another scare like. Um, I remember back when this all started, back 20 years ago, it was the o- hole in the ozone thing. Remember that? And they were trying to get everybody to stop using certain aerosol spray cans and stuff like that. That would uh, that they thought the chemicals and it would mess up the mess up the ozone. We don't hear about the ozone hole anymore. And and remember, and the ozone hole was in only one place. It was in the South Pole. It was over Antarctica for crying out loud. Who lives there? And we, and you know, and they've so, and they've only just been picking it up since they had the technology to do it. So we don't know, you know, how long that's been holding. Like, that could be a natural occurrence, you know. And no, they just want to attribute it to what men do, what human people do. Um, you know, and. Nowadays, um, it's it's this so-called you know climate change, the the uh, uh, global warming crap um, that's going on, um, which I think if you have any brains uh, in all this, that uh, the uh, uh, this recently ended winter would have proven that there's no global warming. I mean, sheesh, we might be going the other direction if 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 anything. I mean, look. Here it is. Here it is. April 23rd, and um, it's it's chill. I live in Indiana, and it's kind of chilly out there. I mean, it's not freezing or anything, but it's kind of chilly for this time of year. Um, sheesh, I walked out there yesterday. I expected it to be in you know at least in the 60s. I'm getting hit by chilly winds. You know, um, it's just that you know they take things that normally happen uh, and they kind of blow it out of proportion because of the, it might be kind of different you know, the, the, different than what they're used to in their own area um, we don't it, it's, it, it's, you know I, it was, I heard this sort of thing. we don't know what the actual normal is when it comes to particular areas when it comes to uh, climate and, t- and weather and everything um you know, sometimes we, you know, get closer to breaking records uh, in temperature and everything that happened, you know, a hundred years ago. So, you know, if it happened a hundred years ago, um, it might not happen as often, but it's not new. It's not drastic. So, I don't know. And I don't go ape shit when it cut, they show all this stuff about melting ice caps and all that kind of crap because. 
you know, you know these the the people who report it are usually the same people that are support this bullshit and um, want to front the agenda rather than present facts. But uh, you know, I don't. That's you know, I'm not the kind of guy. The only green I kind of go for is you know the green of the Generation X. So <laughs> um, any Incredible Hulk and all that stuff. So uh, when it comes to being green, um, unless it's Degeneration X or the Hulk or anything like that, I'm not going to you know I'm not an environmentalist wacko. I go for common sense. I I grew up in the 70s and 80s where when most of the environmental um, protection was involving literary, and I don't even hear that anymore. Whatever happened to give a hoot, don't pollute? Now they're just forcing people to buy certain things and stuff, uh, just because it makes you think that you know you're saving the environment, which you know, um, not really. You know, you, one way or another, it's it might it might you know maybe that will mess up things. Uh, you break one of these uh, new type of bulbs and everything, you got to call hazmat team to clean it up, <laughs> um, and all. So I don't know. It's it's just they just want you to to spend more money on on uh, stuff that you know, if not properly used, will mess up things even worse than they claim. What we're normally doing is doing. And now, that, now of course, we have a 44-year-old holiday to, um, to make people aware of the environment, which, of course, I don't know why, because they practically shove it down our throats almost every day. <coughs> but, uh, and, of course, and then, of course, then we have Arbor Day, which is a much older holiday, and I don't think that was totally done by environmentalist wackos, but it's boring. Uh, all you do is, like, you go out and plant a tree, and you're a big deal. <laughs> um, it's incredible that they have two environmentally aware holidays on the same week. <laughs> it's like, who's planned that? You know, uh, you know, either have it both on the same day or try to separate them or something. Don't have it on the same day. That's, you know, especially one that's totally useless and one that's totally boring. Um, but um, that's what I'm just going to say about these two particular holidays and uh, and and um, environmentalism, environmentalism it is it, it basically it's mental. <laughs> They're a bunch of mental people. So that's my opinion about it. And uh, stay tuned uh, next for my opinion on um, Administrative Professionals Day, or otherwise known as Secretary's Day, on my next rant. And stay tuned here for more rants and uh, other things here on the Weirdo Network. See ya. Well, I guess if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. So I am an idiot.